Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Monster I'm Has D. Last time we went out and slayed the Velocipre for the last time. And this time we're going to go out and do a new type of quest. So let's come over here and talk to the Chief because I've run out of people to talk to before starting a quest. Because I've talked to so many people, they have literally run out of things to tell me. So if we go in here, as you can see, it's a new type of quest. It's called a Capture Quest. Capture Quests, they have that yellow tint in the corner which obviously signifies that they're a Capture Quest. This one is to go out and capture a Yain Cuckoo. So in the forest and hills, the sign you'll notice is that the reward is a thousand zenny. Capture quests normally have higher rewards because obviously there's more restrictions on it, such as the fail condition. If you kill the monster, you will fail the condition. That's just a thing. With capture quests, you will fail if you kill the monster. So as it says there, capture the Yain Cuckoo. The requester is a stern, sco stern scholar. Sorry, I would like you to find and capture a Yain Cuckoo alive. It's just using pitfall traps. Good luck and thanks in advance. So yeah, that's his little message to tell us to go out and capture a yain cuckoo. Entrapping animals, that whole zoo talk or something, I don't know. Never mind, let's head out on the quest and capture a yain cuckoo. I don't know where the ethics of catching a giant fire breathing monster is. I don't quite get that. I don't know why anyone would want to capture a yain cuckoo because obviously that's not going to end badly, is it? Capturing a yain cuckoo, put it in a cage. Yeah, I can't see that ending badly at all. Never mind, it's not me who has to take care of it, it's them. So what we're going to do is come over to the chest. And as you can see, we've got a load of new items in here. So let me just grab up the normal items. And there we go. And if I come over here, you can see these are Trank Bombs. Trank Bombs are something unique to this quest and other capture quests. They, use, they are used to subdue and capture trap monsters. They're a supply item, so you can't take these back to the village. So this is the only place you can get them. You can't combine more so that you have extras. They give you six for this quest, which is more than enough. And they supply you with a pitfall trap, which is what you need to capture the monster. If you don't have a pitfall trap, you may struggle with this quest if you're not too good and not too sure of your ability. So I'd suggest bringing the stuff to combine to make another pitfall trap, such as trap tools. So I can now go out and make one because the other materials required to combine to make a trap tool are out there in the woods. So we can always go get more if we need it. So I'm going to down these rations and head to area 3 because that's where the Iron Cuckoo normally is. At this point in the quest, normally at around about this time, it will be starting to go towards area 3 from 9 I think or 10 depending on the... I don't know, the AI, and what is going on with the AI here? Both of these things are walking into the wall. That one's got its head in the wall. It's eating from the wall. <laughs> That's just this game in a nutshell. Some monsters, they're really well coded. Others, eh, not so much. <laughs> walking into a wall. It's a genius tactic. It's some sort of defense mechanism that prevents them from being hunted or something. I don't know. I'm just rambling about the ridiculous ridiculousness of the situation right now. It's not, it's not a problem, let's head into area 3, and if I'm lucky, and I don't think I am because it's not in here yet, I will check my quest info to see how long it is, I don't think it's coming because normally it'd be here by now, it's normally here by 2 minutes into the quest, so it's in area 10 I believe, so let's head in there. The reason why I know it's patterned so well is this because this is sort of the quest where I come out and just hunt it non-stop in order to get sort of materials from it and to make money. So let's paintball it. And for some reason I'm going to flinch despite the fact I've just paintballed it. Never mind, let's hit it with this. I didn't go over my weapon. This weapon is a bone broad axe. Bone broad axe is a branch off of the iron uh, iron hammer tree so if you're wondering where this has come from that's where it's come from I don't know why it's in the iron hammer tree considering it's a bone weapon and why is that pig aggroed on me I'll never know it's a pretty decent weapon and when I get a chance I'll go over its stats so but as you can see it doesn't have the best sharpness as it's already gone down to that level which is kind of unfortunate fortunate but never mind oh don't hit me oh that pig Arrgh! I can't believe that pig just knocked me straight into that. That's fantastic. Oh, gonna say, leave me alone. Or I'm just going to sharpen up my weapon because I don't want it to be that blunt because it's just going to lead to all sorts of unlikely and horrible situations. 
Oh, no, that was my fault. Oh, I thought I dodged it then. I thought I just managed to get out of the way. I was trying to get in front of it so that I could throw a flash bomb so that these pigs will stop annoying me, and it didn't work. Wow, that's a weird animation. I didn't know that's what happens when you flash bomb moss swines. Pretty weird, to be honest. So let's try and get in a position where I can attack this thing. Here we go. It's going to do its tail swipey thing. So let's stand here and hit it like that. And roll. Oh, just managed to get out of the way. How did that hit me? I was on the other side of it. Stupid hitboxes. Let's roll out of the way of that one. And fantastic. That's nearly killed me already. I wish that flash bomb would work now because that would just make this all the easier. Protect me, pigs! Oh, they didn't protect me. Why do you never do anything for me? Right, let's flash bomb it. So I'm going to drop some large barrel bombs on it now while it's still sort of on high health because, as I said earlier, you don't want to kill this thing. Oh no, that's a bad position to be in. And there we go. This is an animation you may have not seen. This is the animation it will pull when you hit it with, say, a sonic bomb. And now it's in rage mode, so it's not exactly happy with me. And let's just keep hitting it, knocking it down. You're going to want to keep hitting this thing till its ear goes down. I did mention in one of the quests where I hunted it before that once its ear goes down, ear's gone down, there we go. It means that it's pretty low on health. That's one of its tails. I was sort of talking about this when I talked about the Rathalos. Its ear will go down when it's weak, so what I want to do is wait for it to come to a different area where I can catch it. So what I'm going to do is leave the area and hope that it goes to a different one where I can just drop a pitfall trap underneath it and catch it. Because in order to catch it, it has to be in a pitfall trap. So let's hope it comes to this area next. So if I wait here with a pitfall trap, it will hopefully fly to this area and here it goes, it's taking off. See where it goes. It's going to go to 9, I bet, just to annoy me. And it's in 9. Okay, I'm going to go to 4 now and wait there because obviously it's going to heal. So it's going to fly straight to 5 after 4. I don't know if I'm going to get to the right place in time. Hopefully I will. Fortunately, when it lands in this area, it lands in a weird position and then moves to get into a position where it can actually... Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Where it can take off again and head to area 5. I don't know why it does that, but it just does. Ah, oh, I didn't get time to put it down. Okay, that's not good. Right, I'm going to head to area 5 now, obviously, to put a pitfall trap down in there and capture it. So let's head in there. And it's going to be filled with Velociprey, so I'm going to have to take these guys out. Bring it on. Fortunately, this axe is pretty strong, and I thought that would one-shot it, but it didn't. It's probably because it's slightly blunt, but never mind. Back here, you. So let's hit it again, and one more time, I guess. Something you're going to be want, to, something you're going to want to be careful of is that the Velociprate don't take it out, because as you saw in the first quest where I hunted this thing, the Velociprate accidentally took it out. Just while it was there in midair, it was on low enough health to take it out. Okay, now that I've done that, I want to get into a position where I can drop a football trap. This is probably not the best place. Oh, I got lucky there. Okay, okay, it didn't go in the pitfall trap. That's interesting. Let's stand here and wait for it. Come on then. Come on you. Charge me. Charge me. Charge me. And there we go. Now that's in the pitfall trap, you want to hit it with... Uh, trank bombs, you want to hit it with two? Come on! What the... Why can't I hit it? There we go. I thought I was going to miss. I used up all of the trank bombs. Oh my god. Wow, that was close. This is the problem with the smaller monsters when you try and capture them. You will more than likely miss them because they're so small and your throwing arc goes so high that you will probably miss them. But there we go after... A relatively short quest, we've managed to capture a Yain Cuckoo. It takes two Trank Bombs to capture a Yain Cuckoo once it's weakened and in a Pitfall Trap. You can use, well, if you just use up as many as you can, and then if it doesn't get, obviously it doesn't go to sleep, you can continue to hit it again and again and again and again, and sometimes, and if you're lucky, it will just go to sleep, which is quite a lucky thing. 
That normally only ever happens after, say, it's come in here, it's healed up a little bit, and it's slightly over the margin for capturing range. Something you're going to notice is that this sort of outro thing, it's got the same length as a, uh, I believe it's a hunting quest, so I don't know why they did that, since obviously this doesn't need to be as long, since it's not like I'm carving anything, I don't quite get it. But now we've done that, and you can see the dirt face on the uh, Yain Cuckoo from this angle, that's quite... A weird angle, never mind. Something else I don't get when you capture these things, why do they want them injured? Why do they want injured creatures to study? That's probably not the best thing to study. Ooh, that's interesting. Something we've just got, flame sacks. Flame sacks, there's something that is used regularly when you have a weapon that improves into a fire-based weapon. Flame sacks are normally the main component and the component that allows you to upgrade it. So I'm going to grab those. And the other stuff in there, the other cuckoo stuff, we've all seen that before, it's nothing too incredible. But now that we've got to this screen, I'm going to probably cut to the weapons that you may be able to make. I'm not sure if you can make any weapons, because I wasn't expecting to get flame sacks at this point. So if there are any weapons, I'll be cutting to them now. If there aren't, I'm going to be cutting back to the village. So after that, we're back in the village, so I think that's a good place to leave it off. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and all the other good stuff, I've been Hazdi, and I will see you next time.